So as we open up this file, we're going to see a few different shots of Odysseus standing in motion, one close up. Then we're going to see all sorts of specters and ghouls and demons, big ones, small ones. And all of them are arranged pretty much vertically. They're facing up and down. Some of them are facing horizontally a little bit, but they're all basically up and down, straightforward. And what we want to do is pick one of the Odysseuses, maybe one that speaks to us, and place them anywhere we want. I'm putting them on an angle here. I'm just going by intuition a little bit, but since the assignment is about angles, I'm going to put them on an angle and see where it goes. And then start to pick out any of the ghosts and ghouls from this section. I'm picking ones that I like. I'm pretty into the skeletons. I'm going to get rid of Tiresias. And um, got this on fast speed, but at a slower pace, I'm basically trying to angle them all towards Odysseus a little bit to make it seem a little bit threatening. None of this is per a particular prescription or a particular plan. I'm kind of going by intuition, and shrinking some, enlarging others, aiming some directly at Odysseus and others around him, and keeping in mind some of the things I learned in the in the angles assignment and and section, but also in the framing section. I'm going to be probably keeping an eye on framing Odysseus so he's both he both looks threatened and clear in this panel, in this composition. So now I'm taking some of the smaller ones, and again, intuitively, just sort of placing them around, turning off the ones that aren't, at this point, just exciting to me. Not a big deal whether or not they're, you know, what exactly they mean or who they might represent in the story, um, what gender they are, how many limbs they have, <laughs> you know whether or not their bones are showing. I'm just picking the ones that sort of look a little spooky to me and have cool shapes, and I'm trying to find a good direction. And right now I'm looking at a sort of direction that's sort of circular in the bottom right and scoops up to the, through the right and downward towards Odysseus. I may keep that going, or I may play with it again. Now I've got the other folder open. So again, I'm just picking and seeing ones that, are, that might work. I'm turning off ones that aren't immediately interesting to me. Everybody's going to have their different ideas, and in fact, every time you do this uh, assignment, it could be completely new. As with any of these assignments, it could be completely new. So I've just, last thing I've done is I've dragged Odysseus to the back, so some of these ghouls and things can overlap him. And now I'm starting to sort of finalize what I've got. I've got a bunch of big ones, a little small ones. I want to make sure everybody's at an angle. And basically, sort of recreating that section where Odysseus first appears at the land of the dead, and I'm trying to make it seem scary. Not everything has to be pointing in a direct, like towards a direct point. Right now they are, and I'm going to try and play with that a little bit and maybe make a few that run counter to it, but for the most part, actually, all of them pointing towards, towards Odysseus is pretty, pretty spooky and kind of creepy, so I'm you know, leaving it at that. I'm going to angle her more towards it, towards him. Now, one other thing we can also do, I'm going to take a screenshot because I like that. One other thing we can do is um, maybe think about the other Odysseuses that we left behind, and I'm going to open up that folder and play around with the other one, this close-up one, see if he works in the same composition. Not too bad. Maybe I can enlarge him. Um, but I think uh, I think I'm going to go for the other one and see how that works. Oh, cool. And just placing him right in the center. It seems by accident I sort of made a great composition for that version of Odysseus rather than the other one.